Welcome back, everyone, to another episode on Beer, Bourbon, and Games. I'm your host, Chris. Now, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you guys being here. And if you like what you see by the end of the video, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I have new content. If you're returning, welcome back to the channel. It's going to be something a little different today. Now, I know wine is not in my name. It is Beer, Bourbon, and Games, but this is something special. This is a Robert Mondavi Cabernet Sauvignon. It is a private select, and it is aged in bourbon barrels. So I figured it's close enough to bourbon. So we're going to go ahead and see if we actually get any influences of bourbon or if it's all marketing. I've heard it's a pretty good wine from a friend of mine. So even if there's no bourbon influence, I'm at least going to have a good Cab Sav over here. Let's go ahead and pour it into our glass and see what we get out of it. That is an extremely dark color. Uh, take a look at the B-roll footage so you can really see just how dark that is. But it is almost the color of a blackberry cobbler or blueberries. It's, it's very, very dark. So I can tell right from looking at it that this is probably going to be some pretty good stuff. It's not see-through at all. I know some Cabernets that I've had before, they're kind of lighter and they're not as robust as what they should be, but from the color of this, it looks really good. It looks like a melted down pie, really delicious looking. So we're going to go ahead and see what noses we get out of this and see what the smells are and the aroma. I'm getting a lot of vanilla blackberry smells smells like a cobbler like a blackberry cobbler here it smells like some oak coming in here slightly blueberries there's a very big mixed berry vibe going on here a lot of the darker varieties of berries the oak the vanilla there's some brown sugar smells you can smell the tannin in here, actually. Smells absolutely fantastic. But let's not delay any longer. Let's just see how it tastes. See if we get any of the bourbons flavoring at all. That's, what, that's the only thing I care about. So let's see here. It's got a very nice mouthfeel. Medium bodied. It's still lingering a little bit, uh, but not as much as what I would have thought. It's layered. There are, there are flavors of the oak coming forward. Then the vanilla is definitely in there. Some of the blackberry and blueberry is definitely present. It's lighter on the tannin than I thought it was going to be. My mouth's really not dried out as much as what I considered it was going to do. There is a little bit of a lingering smokiness. It's um, very unique. Most of the uh, Cabernet Sauvignons that I've had before have not included that smokiness. So I'm thinking the, the smoke and the oak is from the bourbon barrel. Now I don't taste any real notes of bourbon other than the brown sugar and vanilla sort of hitting in there. It tastes more of just a really refreshing Cabernet Sauvignon. It's, it's not much in the way of bourbon inspired, which is no fault of its own. It tastes absolutely fantastic. So I think for the $15 that this bottle costs, it's a steal. Robert Mondavi, I've heard, is very highly regarded. I don't really know as much about wine and winemakers as I do with some of the other stuff, but I've heard good things about him when I was looking it up. So I can say that if you're a wine fan, if you're a Cabernet Sauvignon fan, you'll like this. It is very good. 
It is delicious. The flavoring is complex, layered, and very, very well balanced. If you're a bourbon fan looking for a wine that might introduce you to uh, the, the mixture between the two, so like, hey, I like bourbon, I want to try to get into wine, I don't think this is necessarily going to be the one. There's not much in the way of bourbon notes, but if you just like wine and you want to enjoy something refreshing, it's very, very good. So overall, 15 bucks, can't complain. Well balanced, very delicious. I highly recommend this. For a wine, I'd say I'd give it a four out of five easily. This is something that I would gladly share with everyone else that likes this style of wine and I would bring this over to a party and not feel bad about sharing it because it is very affordable but still very very good I think it drinks well above its price point so guys if you like wine go ahead and give this a check if you only like bourbon this would be something that I would unfortunately skip for you as it's not going to introduce enough bourbon for you to really enjoy it or sell itself but remember guys this wine's not going to drink itself. We're going to have to help it. Some good stuff.